Ah, there you go. What we have here is a couple of sets of spare ribs. So we got a full set of spare ribs. I'm gonna cut those down to St. Louis style. And I'll show you in a bit. What I'm gonna do for the rib candy challenge is actually put on Rich's River Dirt, hot and spicy. And this is some good stuff. He puts out some amazing rubs, and they just came out too. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try Heaven Made Products, Texas Best Rib Rub. I have not tried this yet, so I'm looking forward to trying it. Links for both these will be down below. And we'll see you in the next segment. Hey y'all. So we're gonna choose this rib for the, the rib candy challenge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do kind of a St. Louis style cut. So we got a full spare rib. What you wanna do is cut off this bone. There's a bone right here. And it basically connects to Oh, the rest of it, but you want to take this guy off. So what we're looking for here, it's not a competition style trim, but it's kind of a backyard trim. So we're not looking for Cindy Crawford ribs, but we're not looking for Roseanne Bar ribs either. So you want to take this bone off and kind of cut through there. I'm going to go ahead and leave this to that side for a while. Go to the side. Come on back. But I'm not going to cut that whole thing off. In a competition style, you would. So if you want to watch competition style, you watch James from Him and Clean of Smokers. Or you watch Harry Sue. And the amount of meat they throw away makes me cry. So you do want to find like your highest bone. Trim back from there. I'm gonna kind of square this up, but once again, we're not looking for we're not looking for Cindy Crawford ribs here. All right, so here's our first set, pretty much trimmed up the way we want it to be. So I'm gonna use uh, Rich's River Dirt Hot and Spicy on this. All we're gonna do. There's our there's our riblet or rib in. So all I'm gonna do is sprinkle on a bit of this. We'll keep it super simple. I'm gonna put this on both sides. And this is gonna be the one I'm gonna use for the rip candy challenge. So I'll put a bit of this guy on here. And on the second set, I'm gonna start trimming up. I'm gonna use uh, I have a made product, Texas Best Rib Rub on that guy. And then I'm gonna use Carolina Q sauce. So yeah, that's gonna be a little different set. We'll just sprinkle on a good heavy coating. Turn these over. Make sure they get covered on all sides. We're get coating on that side. And our little riblet. Oh boy, there's a whole bunch of that. I'll leave it smell good. Hey y'all. Uh, Time to start the fire. So what we got here, as you can see from down below, it's just a ripped up Kingsford bag. We got our chimney full. Go ahead and start the fire. And then once these are going good, ready for the grill, we'll be back again. Hey y'all. So what we got here is <laughs> not a failure to communicate, but what we got here is uh, our charcoal wall set up on the Weber Smoky Mountain dialed in the bottom bottom grates to about halfway and then we got some cherry wood chunks sitting on top normally I do pecan but we're doing cherry wood today so I'm gonna go grab me the charcoal jimmy and throw them in and boom chock lag we're ready for this so we'll put the top back on our grill so here's our top right here with the gate hanging rack I'm gonna throw this Bad boy on. Hopefully I can do that one handed. And boom. See if you look on down in there. That's where you're seeing right now. Well there we go. It's all hooked up. It's around about 250 right now. But that'll stabilize in a second or two. So we'll meet you back in a few moments. So we had about 285, 287 or so. It already seems to be stabilizing. So I think we're in good shape. Alright, our ribs on. are hung up and our rib lats. 
or rib tips, whatever you want to call them, or hung up. Smoke's coming through real well. My people, my people. So we're about an hour in. I'm gonna go ahead and check these things. They've been running a little, like, they've been running about 265, 270. Holy cow. Uh, holy pork. <laughs> Golly. This is what we can get. Coming out to kind of check them a little bit. And spritz them down. All I got here is a mix of uh, apple cider vinegar and water. You can use kind of whatever spritz you want. Hey, yeah. So I think my little riblets, rib tips, whatever, are done. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those things off. They're looking pretty good. Hey, y'all. So Midway Taste Test. We're going to take a bite of Richards River Smoker, West Virginia. It's river dirt. So we'll take a look. Let's see what we got. This is a hot and spicy. And this is no rub whatsoever. So it's juicy as anything. I'm take a taste of that. Mmm. Well, that's good. Mmm. -hmm. Well, that's good. <laughs> Golly. Um, it's got a bit of kick in the back. But well, it's real good. Next up. Heaven Made Products, Texas Best Rib Rub. So we'll take a taste of that too. Once again, these little riblets. We haven't gotten to the final product yet. These little riblets are looking good and moist and good. Mmm. Love it. That's super good stuff. Both those rubs are amazingly good, just by themselves. And we're gonna add some more sauce later. That's Carolina Q sauce for one, and our own sauce for the other. The rib candy sauce. So stay tuned. Hey y'all, so I lay these down on a bed of brown sugar, squeeze butter. We have our Ritz's River rub, hot and spicy. We're just gonna put it on this side. And then our heavenly made products, which we're gonna put on the other side. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more of that in. Put in some more brown sugar. squeeze butter. I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. So I'll we'll squeeze that right on top. That's what I'll do the same thing. Let's put that right kind of in the middle. Smells fantastic there, buddy. There we go. I got them wrapped up, ready to go. What I'm gonna do right now is mark them. I don't know which one's which. So I'm gonna take them out. I wanna know who's who. So this is Ritz's River Rub. R, R. R, R. <laughs> Cause of all the R's. <laughs> Ritz's River Rub, like West Virginia. I'll put in West Virginia in there. <laughs> And this is a this is heaven made product. All right, it's time to start in on the rib candy. So what we got is a pan sitting here. We're gonna melt down a couple of things. So we're sitting about a medium medium high. This is a double burn. We're gonna add in is about half a cup of water. I'll that in first. 
we want to melt down our candy. Candy is peach candies. So if you can see that, we got peach candies in here. So I'm gonna melt that down. We got about a handful of peach candies. That's probably about probably about a dozen or so peach candies. And then we'll wait for that to melt down. Put in our brown sugar. Put in our actual real live peaches. Because we want kind of a decent taste to this thing. And then we have a whole bunch of other ingredients to add. Now let's wait for this to melt down. They're melting down already. And we're only at like a medium, medium high. This is about that pretty quick. That's probably we're gonna throw in some brown sugar. So I'm taking brown sugar out. I'll throw that in. It's about two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'll mix that in. Oh man, it's gone. So I'll mix that in. There's our peach candies. I'm gonna have the peaches too. That's half a peach. That's a, about a teaspoon of chili powder. About a half a teaspoon of cayenne. A teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of onion powder. I'm gonna go ahead and add these too. Then we're gonna add about two tablespoons of molasses. It's boiling real well. So we're gonna add about two tablespoons of molasses. Molasses right here. This is black strap molasses. Got that in. So we'll let that cook down too. And all we're waiting for right now is basically our peaches to cook down a bit. Add just a couple of tablespoons of red wine vinegar. all kind of at a simmer right now. I want it high enough so, so have no fear. <laughs> Hope we blend it out. I'm adding a tablespoon of yellow mustard. I'll put that in. We may have to add more or less ketchup or more or less other seasonings as you see fit. Thicken it up and one up. I'm gonna add about a half a can, six ounce can, so three ounces of tomato paste. So I'm gonna add that to the mix. Now it's getting interesting. <laughs> At this point, we actually do want to add Worcestershire too. So we want to add our Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I'll put that in as well. Take a taste. Here we got. See if we need to add anything. Boy, it's like super sweet. Tangy. And there's a kick for sure. That's actually not I'll bad. Tell you, strange as I thought this challenge was gonna be. This is actually pretty dang good. <laughs> It's got a kick. It's got some sweetness in there. Let's have more, George. Well, our peaches are pretty soft, so I pulled it out and stuck it in the in this cup. So what you want to do now is use an immersion blender and just blend it up to get rid of those chunks from the peaches. Hey y'all. So we got our ribs. This is Rivers Richard Smokers, West Virginia. This is his hot and spicy dirt. His river dirt on this one. So I'm gonna take our candy glaze. What can I drizzle on here? And on this side, what we got is Heaven Made Products. 
Texas best rib rub. Those are looking real good. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush on on this one. I want to do Carolina Q sweet hickory sauce. That's really good. We got a three pack from them. But my kids like this a bunch. really good. I'm surprised, but it's awful dang good. And dogs. <laughs> and cat. Anyhow, see you next time.